Welcome to Simply Excel. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the reasons why phone numbers don't always display properly in Excel and what you can do to fix that. For example, if I just type a phone number into Excel with my cell formatted in the general format, which is the default when you create a new sheet, when I press return, the leading zero disappears from that number. That's because Excel is just trying to work out what data I've put in. It thinks I'm typing a number in and therefore a leading zero isn't relevant. One way around this is to change the formatting of the cell we're typing the number into. So we can change that to the text format. And then when we type a number into that cell, it retains the leading zero. It's also giving us this little warning that's telling us that we've got a number here that's stored as text. So Excel's recognized that it's a number I've typed in. And it's just warning me that I'm storing it as text because that may limit what I can do with that data. For the purposes of this, we can just ignore that error. Another way around this is to type the number in with a space between the area code and the number. That's recognized it's not a number because it's got a space in the middle of it, so it's retained that leading zero. The final way you can get your numbers to display correctly is by telling Excel you're typing text into a general format cell by using a single apostrophe. If you then type the number directly after the single apostrophe, we retain that leading zero. And again, we get this warning telling us that we've got a number stored as text. You might have been past a spreadsheet that's got phone numbers in it where the leading zeros have been dropped off and you want to add them back on. And the easiest way of doing this is just insert a new column next to your phone numbers and use equals, a zero in double quotes, ampersand, and then the rest of your phone number. We can then double click in the bottom right hand corner of this formula. And you'll see we've got all our phone numbers with the leading zeros. And then if you want to copy these new phone numbers with the zeros to another location in your spreadsheet or use it to replace the column, you can just select them all. Control C to copy. Right click where we want to paste them in and select the values option from the menu. And you'll see that's replaced our incorrect phone numbers with the correct ones. And we can just ignore the error that's telling us we've got the number stored as text and we can get rid of our calculation. And then we've got the actual number stored. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.